Hey guys, uh, I've gotten a lot of requests to show my 2010 Ford F-150 Raptor uh, just to give a 13 year update on fluid filming it every single fall. Um, so let's go get over to the vehicle. Like I said, here's my 2010 F-150 Raptor. Uh, previous owner purchased it new and he fluid filmed it every year up until I bought it six years ago and I have continued to fluid film it every single fall so just want to give you guys a picture of what a 13 year old uh, truck that's been fluid filmed every single year looks like so I'll give you a shot from above here and then we'll go ahead and we'll pull in the shop over there and Get up on the lift and give you guys a better look. But let's just pan around each wheel well here. And as you can see, I mean this is just this is just some dirt stuck to the film there. That's not any rust at all. Um, it's a little bit of surface rust on the exhaust manifold, but there's nothing you can do about that since uh, it gets so hot the fluid film just burns right off of it. But let's keep going around to the other wheel wells and see how those look. So, as you can see, I mean, it's a little dirty under here. I mean, I try not to power wash my wheel wells unless it gets extremely muddy or something like that. So, there's a little bit of dirt in here, but I also haven't coated it yet for the year, so... You look up around the pinch weld here there is nothing not even a speck try to give you an above view here pan you around let's see if we can see inside a frame a frame here try to zoom in here I mean there is absolutely rust free there is not a single dot of rust and this has been a rust belt truck its entire life, driven every single winter. So let's get around to the other side. Pop the tailgate down here. If you look at the seam down here, if I can get a picture of it. There is no rust at all in the tailgate seam. I actually spray inside the tailgate through this connector hole right here. Alright, let's go around to the other side and see how that all looks over there. Here's the other side. Again, excuse the dirt, sorry about that, but main focus here is trying to find any rust after 13 years of coating it. It is absolutely rust free. There is nothing. You zoom in under here. It's a little dirty from all the dirt and stuff stuck to the fluid film over the years, but there is no rust. Go to the back here. Again, same thing as the other side. It's all just dirt, no rust at all. Again, there's inside the frame. Just dirt and debris stuck in there. Look at the bed support. Just dirt. That's just dirt stuck to the fluid film. That is, there's no rust whatsoever stuck underneath there. Let's pan around. There's another frame. You can kind of look inside here. So, yeah, you can see all the dirt and debris that's stuck in there, but if you take your finger and wipe it, that's just dirt. 
There's no rust whatsoever underneath there. Let's get you panned kind of from the back view here, and then we'll go put it up on the lift. So yeah, I'm not even seeing really even minor surface rust under here. And I live in central Illinois where they salt the roads heavily. Um, I have several co-workers trucks that are older than mine with more miles. Uh, I'm not sure if I stated it, but this has around 160, 165,000 miles on it. But I've got co-workers with newer F-150s, 2013, 2014, with under 100,000 miles that are already experiencing rust around the wheel wells, cab corners, uh, you name it, but all right, so let's go ahead and get it pulled in the shop and take another look. All right, guys, we're back, got it up on the lift. Let's take a peek underneath. Like I said, it's a 2010 F-150 Raptor, around 160, 165,000 miles. Driven in central Illinois, salt belt since new, coated every single fall. Let's take a look underneath and see how it looks in terms of rust. See how it's all holding up here. A common spot on the F-150s of this year is for this back bumper to rust out here, usually around here start here and just work its way over i've seen a lot of trucks rust out in here rust out right in front of the wheel uh, above the wheel well so kind of focus in on the common areas of rust here and see if we can find anything so again this is all just dirt you know from driving it all year and dirt sticking to the fluid film but there is no rust underneath this at all. Kind of hard to see there, but you get the picture. Yeah, there, I mean, there's absolutely no rust starting in the corner of the bumper here. Behind the... Try to get you up in here a little. Even the pinch weld for the wheel wall has no rust. Inner bed, there's absolutely no rust. Again, that's just all dirt there that's been stuck to the fluid film. Spare tire, just as clean as it was new. There's no rust on that. No rust on my bumper mounts. There are my tow hooks here, nothing on there. Come around the other side. Check the bumper here, absolutely nothing. I mean, still got fluid foam on it from last year, so basically every year I just touch up the spots that have gotten washed away with water, like stuff like up here, that's really not gonna get hit much. So it's still got a thick coating on there. But let's take a peek up in this wheel well here to see how that looks. Pretty clean. Again, I mean, it's just dirt just stuck to the fluid film from driving it throughout the year. And unless I take it through some mud or do some heavy off-roading, I try not to power wash the fluid film off underneath. So let's pan around to the wheel here. And there is absolutely no rust whatsoever. Take a peek up at the bed supports here, see how they're doing. Again, just a bunch of dirt and debris that's stuck up there, but there is no rust. Let's go to the other side and try to look back at this area again. 
So yep, here's your bed supports again. There's no rust whatsoever. Getting back at the brake. Everything still looks new back here. If I had to take any of these bolts or nuts apart, I would not have any problem whatsoever. Here's a different angle. Let's kind of go up and look at the cab corners area, see how they're doing. So there's absolutely nothing. From the factory, they come with like a real cheap piece of duct tape over this area. So every two or three years, I take, I this is just some HVAC tape I put on there. I take that off and spray inside the cab corners here to prevent them from rusting out. And then I just clean the area up, reapply a new piece of HVAC tape and call it good. So here's more of those access holes where I've I spray over the years. Let's look back here and see if we can find anything. Again, this truck is not parked during the winter. I drive it during the winter. So this is a true testament to fluid film over the last 13 years or 14 years depending on how you want to look at it this truck is a 2010 but it was manufactured sometime in 2009 so 13 14 winters about is what you're looking at here so this other side I mean, even if you look at the pinch weld here there's just nothing no rust at all I mean it's a little dirty from dirt and debris I have gravel driveway but there is no rust let's keep panning here still looks good I'm not seeing much of anything in here just a bunch of dirt from the year but if you wipe if you got under your the power washer and power washed all the fluid foam off it would still be just as rust free I just don't care to to do that I just like to leave a thick layer on here it's not hurting anything like here's the frame is still nice and shiny from last year Let's see if we can get a pan of the frame here. All the brake lines are completely rust free here. Let's see if we can look inside a cross support here and see if there's anything in there hiding. Just a bunch of dirt. Let's go around to the front wheels here. My front brakes. I mean, there's absolutely no rust. Paint across the front here. A little bit of oil dripping from the last oil change I did a few weeks ago, but nothing to be concerned about. Try to go around the other side here and take a look. Again, there is a lot of dirt stuck to it, but I am not seeing any rust at all. Go to the other side here and take a look. I mean, even on the nut for the outer tie rod, there is absolutely nothing. 
nothing on the threads if I had to take that bolt off it would come off nice and easy how it should without fighting anything so all right well I'll stop the video here and I'll pick you back up after I spray it so again I'm just going to be touching up a few areas around the wheel walls uh, I think this year I'll probably spray inside the frame again um, but I'm not going over the whole truck like I would, you know, with something that hasn't ever been done before. I'm not going to that extent, but just touching up the areas that have been washed off through the year. So, I mean, you can still see the build stickers here. If I took a power washer, that fluid foam would come right off. All right, well, I'll pick you guys back up after I reapply. Hey guys, here are the results. So, just hit the high traffic areas with fresh film, give a light coat over everything else. It's ready to hit another winter. And then, here's what I use for the doors. I just get normal transmission fluid, put it in a little ketchup bottle like this, and come over here, hit all my doors, all my tailgates. I just make a light bead across the whole seam of the bottom of the door. And what that'll do is that transmission fluid will creep up six, eight inches inside the bottom of the door and prevent the, your doors from rusting out. So, all right, well that's it guys. I'll see you next year.